think this is a good time to tell you that the Cartwright interests have begun building a new bank in Grove's Corners. Had to go all the way to Vermont for the marble, sorry to say. So they asked this friend of mine what they should put in the cornerstone for people to dig up a thousand years from now. So they put in, of course, a copy of the New York Times and uh, Mr. Webb Sentinel. We're kind of interested in this because some scientific fellows have come up with a way of painting the reading matter with a kind of glue, silicate glue. Make it last a thousand, two thousand years. So they put in a copy of the Bible and the Constitution of the United States and a copy of William Shakespeare's plays. What do you think, folks? What do you say? You know, Babylon had two million people in it, and all we know about them is the name of kings and oh, the sale of some weak contracts and the sale of slaves. Yet every night, families sat down to dinner and fathers came home from work and smoke went up the chimney, same as here. Why, even in Greece and Rome, all we know about the lives of the real people is what we can piece together from some joking poems or the comedies they used to write for the theater back then. So, I'm going to put a copy of this play in that cornerstone so that people a thousand years from now will know a few simple facts about us, more than just the Lindbergh flight or the Treaty of Versailles. You see what I mean? So, people a thousand years from now, this is the way we were in the provinces north of New York at the beginning of the 20th century. This is the way we were in our growing up and our marrying and our living and our dying. Now we'll go back to the town. Hmm.